Uh, yeah, down Alfred Street. Have you got a piece of paper for me? Yeah, I want to um, talk to you about some of your responses and the emails that I sent you. Um, one paragraph in particular where you state, uh, I cannot accept your suggestion that the act is disproportionate. COVID is causing carnage around the world and we are one of the few places with no community transmission. Our community has been kept safe and our economy functioning largely because of the steps taken. So firstly I'd like to ask you, what do you mean by cannot? Do you mean you're not allowed to accept that it would be disproportionate? Or? I cannot accept, no, no, I, my, I, I consider myself to be a rational person okay. and when I stand back and look about look at the rules that were put in place, yeah. um, I think that they were entirely appropriate and proportionate and you given think the magnitude of the risks. And you think that's based us. on evidence is what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. And I don't accept the okay, um, so, evidence um, that you've provided. Couple of, okay, so a couple of weeks ago, one of the pieces of evidence I provided you was the latest um, information, the latest advice from the CDC, that they've dropped their um, infection Fatality rate estimates to 0.26%. Do what, you accept? No. What I that see, that what I see, is relevant? what I see is that COVID is ravaging countries around the world. Okay, but obviously with you're not seeing millions, that with evidence with because we've got the CDC cases, here has reduced the infection fatality cases. rate to 0.26%. Yeah. That's the CDC advice. Do you accept that that is? Demonstrable, but that's no demonstrable. Daily updates from so you trends. don't so you don't I, accept the CDC I, I, as monstrous evidence. To, as I look you're to, the you look to the World Health Organization. You look to the World Health Organization. Okay, and and if we look at it, the fact of the matter is that this disease, okay, along so, with um, people's the World Health Organization, you want to look to the World Health Organization. I have quoted you a study of theirs in October last year that showed that they do not have any substantial evidence for the effectiveness of the measures. Okay, so you've then turned around and taken advice from them to engage in those measures. October last year we just right. had a COVID episode. No, but the study was into the effectiveness of the measures in pandemic influenza. Well, so this is you've the... Shifted, you've shifted from talking about infection rates in That's evidence. Right. Yeah. So disproportionate. About... You wouldn't, you were, so well, you wouldn't yeah. accept the information from the CDC. So What's just, the CDC? Okay, so let's continue with your statement here. Alright. Oh. So, um... You go on to say, our community is being kept safe and our economy functioning largely because, okay? So you're, you're saying you don't accept the new, the new death rate that the CDC is putting out there. So what level of response would you consider reasonable considering that when New Zealanders were locked down at level four, they were being told there was a three percent fatality rate. And now, obviously, the CDC is acknowledging it's 10 times less, even less than 10 times what they've been told at the time. So, if in your words, they consented at a 3% death rate. What do you now see as reasonable views, measures? I mean, would would it be reasonable for 10 times less lockdown no. since the death rate is 10 my, times less? My views haven't changed. Do you know, Duncan, I was talking to someone today that was speaking to a pregnant woman yesterday who was on the verge of tears over the fear of being locked down again. Okay? Yep, being locked down is not easy, I accept that. Okay, well, I'm going to write you another email, okay? And it's going to include information, uh, an official information request, and it's going to be around what identifiable steps did you take to assess how demonstrable the effectiveness of the proposed powers in the new laws were when you first signed it? Well, that's one like of the great things now. about democracy is that you can email your MP anytime yep. and most MPs will try and respond if they can. Well, an information request you'll have to respond in some way. I'll ask you again, what identifiable steps did you take to assess how demonstrable the effectiveness of the measures you signed into law were before you signed them? What identifiable steps so did you take? I'm not a, I'm not a health researcher. Yep. I rely on organisations like the Health, yep. uh, the Ministry of Health, the World Health Organization, right. the Director General. So, are of Health. you saying you simply followed advice? Uh, well, I'm part of a government which. So, you didn't take any measures which to clarify the advice, which to confirm any of it? Takes advice and acts on the basis of evidence. So, and if I'm very comfortable. But you're not acting evidence. on the basis of evidence, you're acting no, on the basis of I, advice. I disagree with that. Well, okay, so what advice. identifiable steps did you take to? to assess how demonstrable the effectiveness of the measures were. I rely... You relied on, on advice. advice, so what do we pay you for? Based. 
but you've just gone along with the advice. I'm asking you what I've, steps you took to assess how accurate about. the advice was. No, I've, I've answered that question three so you times simply about, followed the advice. You simply followed the advice. Yeah. What do we pay you for? You're not protecting our rights. You have obligations, Duncan, yeah. under the Public yeah. Services Act, okay, under the, the Cabinet Manual, yeah. all right, you have obligations of duty of care, okay, and due diligence, all right. Now, I want you to explain how you exercise those. If you simply you followed advice, how did you assess how to watch all of us? Well, I would like email. a real answer this time, Duncan. I don't want you to dismiss me. I want you to give me a real factual answer. If you're going to claim to be acting on facts and information, then it has to be demonstrable, okay? Right. So when I find facts that show that you don't have well, any just, evidence I of effectiveness... Profoundly with well, I would like you, I would like you to demonstrate okay. how you disagree with facts. Thank you. Right Click me an email. I'm not here for your entertainment, love. Right. 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 No, you don't. Right. Right. Take you made your point. Take, Take your hand off me, son. Take your hand off me, son. I want. I want proper answers, Duncan. Don't touch me, mate. I want proper answers. People of New Zealand want proper answers about their rights being breached by ignorant politicians who are not operating on data, Duncan. You're not operating on data. It's not defensible in, in a free and democratic society. You're not even willing to look at the CDC advice. Excuse me. I mean, are you a, hello. Are you a conspiracy theorist or what? So what measures have you taken? Who are you with? What are you with the group? Exactly right. What measures have you, are you, are you taken? Your friend is talking what about measures have you taken to me? follow the advice? Right. I know you just want to marginalise us, Duncan. But I'm Excuse speaking me. for a lot of people no, today, no, okay? I'm not just one person, and you need to Leave your property alone, please. What, what, what makes you think this is yours? Is Put it yours? down, please. What, why is this yours? Put it down. What is it yours? Show the other Don't side. Then. Show about. the other yeah. side. I'm going to use it to write something on. Hey. Hey. Are you stealing this? Is this your property? Oh, no, I'm just taking is it, it your away. Property? Is it your yes, property? Yes, it is now. I've got my hand on it. Is it your? Did you bring it here? Yes. Did you really? Yes. Did you bring a sign here? Did you? Well, no, actually. Sure. I have evidence showing. Otherwise, I oh, I've got evidence of you stealing property. There you are. You're a thief. Well, I'm a, no, I'm are you not a thief? A thief. I just why would you take our property? I just wanted to get rid of you. That's why. Why would you take our property? Oh, destruction! Willful destruction of property here. You can take me. Willful destruction of property. I just wanted you to get away from him. 